James Caan, a renowned actor, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his versatile performances and enduring characters. Born in the Bronx, New York in 1940, Khan began his acting career in the 1960s, appearing in numerous TV shows and films. However, it was his role as Sonny Corleone in the classic film, The Godfather, that catapulted him to stardom. His portrayal of the hot-headed and impulsive Sonny was both captivating and unforgettable, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Khan's career spanned over five decades, during which he appeared in over 80 films, showcasing his remarkable range as an actor. From his early roles in comedies like Brian's Song and Cinderella Liberty to his later work in thrillers and action films such as Misery and Thief, Khan consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. Despite his success, Khan remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his meticulous preparation and attention to detail, often going to great lengths to ensure the authenticity of his characters. Khan's contributions to the film industry are still celebrated today, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors around the world. His work is a testament to the power of perseverance, passion, and dedication, reminding us all of the limitless possibilities that come with following one's dreams. James Khan is a legendary actor known for his versatile roles in films like The Godfather and Misery. His ability to portray complex characters sets him apart from his contemporaries. Do you remember a particular moment from one of his movies that left a lasting impact on you? We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to James Khan. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about James Khan, so keep watching this video. What makes James Caan stand out is his unique approach to each role, making his characters memorable and relatable. Is there a specific performance that you admire the most? Let us know in the comments. James Caan's career has been filled with unforgettable moments, and we can't wait to share them with you. Stay tuned to learn more about this classic star. James Kahn, a renowned actor, was born in the Bronx, New York in 1940 to German-Jewish parents. His father, Arthur Kahn, was a meat dealer, while his mother, Sophie Falkenstein, was a homemaker. Kahn grew up in a loving family, surrounded by a large extended family, which included his two sisters. As a child, Kahn was active and athletic, participating in various sports such as baseball, football, and boxing. However, he also had a love for performing and would often put on shows for his family and neighbors. Khan's first exposure to acting came in high school, where he participated in school plays and was encouraged by his drama teacher to pursue acting professionally. After high school, Khan attended Michigan State University, where he studied economics and played football. However, he soon realized that his true passion lay in acting and transferred to Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, where he studied under the renowned acting teacher Sanford Meisner. Meisner became a significant influence and mentor to Kahn, teaching him the importance of emotional honesty and truth in acting. Kahn's early acting career was marked by several small roles in television shows and films, but his breakthrough role came in 1972 when he starred in the film The Godfather as Sonny Corleone. Khan's performance in The Godfather was a turning point in his career, and he went on to star in several successful films throughout the 1970s and 1980s. He continued to work in film and television throughout his career, earning critical acclaim and numerous award nominations for his work. In addition to Meissner, Khan was also influenced by several other actors and directors, including Marlon Brando, James Dean, and Alita Kazan. He often cited their work as an inspiration and a guide in his own career. Khan's contributions to the world of acting have left an indelible mark, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers to come. James Khan is an accomplished actor who made significant contributions to the film industry. He gained recognition in the 1970s for his role in The Godfather, where he played the hot-headed son of a mafia boss. Khan's portrayal of Sonny Corleone was intense and unforgettable, earning him an Academy Award nomination and cementing his place in Hollywood. Khan's impact went beyond his on-screen presence. He was known for his versatility and willingness to take on diverse roles. Throughout his career, he appeared in various genres, including action, drama, comedy, and horror. Khan's ability to convincingly play a wide range of characters made him a valuable asset in the industry and an inspiration to other actors. Khan's contribution to Hollywood extended beyond his acting skills. He was also a director and producer, 
giving him a unique perspective on the industry. Khan's experience in different aspects of filmmaking allowed him to contribute to the creative process in various ways, further solidifying his impact on Hollywood. One of Khan's most notable contributions was his role in shaping the landscape of American cinema in the 1970s. During this time, the film industry was going through a period of change and new talents were emerging. Khan was one of the actors who helped define this era, bringing a fresh and unique perspective to the screen. In conclusion, James Kahn's impact on the film industry is significant. His contributions to Hollywood extend beyond his acting skills, and his willingness to take on diverse roles has inspired other actors. Kahn's legacy continues to resonate in the industry, and his impact can still be felt today. James Kahn, a well-known actor, discovered his passion for acting during his time at Michigan State College. Although he was studying economics, he found himself drawn to the campus's drama club. In an interview with Academy of Achievement, Khan shared that he was cast in a play called The Knights of the White Table. Despite having no prior acting experience, he was hooked after his first performance. He said, when I got up on stage, I knew that's where I belonged. A significant turning point for Khan came when he attended Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City. There, he met and trained under the influential acting teacher Sanford Meisner. Khan once commented, Sanford changed my life and he gave me confidence. Meissner's teachings helped Khan develop his craft and solidified his desire to become an actor. After moving to Los Angeles, Khan's career began to take off. He landed roles in various TV shows and films, eventually gaining fame for his performance as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. Khan's dedication and passion for acting have left an indelible mark on the film industry, inspiring many aspiring actors along the way. James Kahn is known for fully immersing himself in his roles, even if it means spending 15 weeks in bed, as he did while playing Paul Sheldon in Misery. Kahn, who is not used to playing a reactionary character, found this role particularly challenging. In Harry and Walter Go to New York, Kahn starred alongside seven Oscar nominees and four winners, including Diane Keaton, Michael Caine, and Charles Durning. When preparing for his role as Franken Thief, Khan attended the American Pistol Institute in Arizona to learn proper gun handling, even though the film's director, Jeff Cooper, doubted that a professional thief would take the time to learn such skills. Khan's gun handling and thief impressed audiences, and he showcased similar skills in Alien Nation and the way of the gun. James Khan, the well-known actor, faced many challenges in his journey to success. Born into a modest family in the Bronx, Khan struggled financially in his early years. He worked various jobs to support himself while pursuing his passion for acting. Rejection and skepticism from industry professionals were common for Khan. Despite these setbacks, he remained determined and persistent. To improve his acting skills, he sought out classes and mentors often at his own expense. Khan's resilience and creativity helped him overcome these obstacles. He found ways to make connections in the industry, even if it meant volunteering as a production assistant or waiting tables at industry events. One of Khan's most significant breaks came when he was cast in a small role in the film El Dorado alongside legendary actor John Wayne. This opportunity allowed Khan to showcase his talent and led to more prominent roles in films such as The Godfather and Misery. Today, James Khan is remembered as one of the most talented and respected actors in Hollywood. His story serves as a reminder that persistence, hard work, and a little bit of creativity can help anyone overcome obstacles and achieve their dreams. James Kahn, known for his powerful performances, passed away on July 6, 2022. With his departure, all main characters of the film El Dorado have now passed away. Initially, Kahn was considered for the lead role in Arthur. Kahn's portrayal of Sonny Corleone in The Godfather is particularly memorable. He improvised the scene where he throws the FBI photographer's camera to the ground, causing the photographer's frightened reaction. This reaction was genuine due to Khan's improvisation. Khan also thought of throwing money at the man to compensate for the broken camera, reflecting his background where breaking something meant replacing or repaying the owner. James Khan's career as an actor has been marked by several breakthrough moments. One of his earliest major roles was in the 1972 film The Godfather, where he played the hot-headed Sonny Corleone. His performance in this film was a turning point in his career, earning him critical acclaim and solidifying his status as a talented and intense actor. Khan's portrayal of Sonny Corleone was praised for its raw energy and intensity, with critics noting his ability to convey the character's complex emotions and motivations. 
his performance in the film is still regarded as one of his most memorable and iconic roles. Another breakthrough moment in Khan's career came in 1975 with the release of the film Rollerball. In this film, Khan played Jonathan E., a star athlete in a dystopian future where athletes compete in a violent and dangerous sport. Khan's performance in the film was praised for its physicality and intensity, with critics noting his ability to convey the character's inner turmoil and determination. Khan's performance in Rollerball helped to establish him as a leading man and a talented action star. He continued to take on a variety of roles in the years that followed, earning critical acclaim for his performances in films such as Misery, Thief, and Elf. Throughout his career, Khan has been known for his versatility and his ability to convey complex emotions and motivations on screen. His breakthrough moments in The Godfather and Rollerball helped to establish him as a talented and respected actor, and his subsequent work has only solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. Khan's peers, critics, and collaborators have all praised his talent and his impact on the film industry. His ability to bring characters to life on screen and his commitment to his craft have earned him a place among the most respected and admired actors of his generation. In conclusion, James Khan's career as an actor has been marked by several breakthrough moments, including his performances in The Godfather and Rollerball. His talent, versatility, and commitment to his craft have earned him a place among the most respected and admired actors in Hollywood. James Caan is known for his role in the disjointed action film The Killer Elite, which had much of its script rewritten during filming by Khan, Sam Peckinpah, and Burt Young. Khan's first blockbuster action movie was Eraser, which he agreed to because he found the story to be good. In Misery, Khan plays Paul Sheldon, and a photograph of a younger Sheldon shaking hands with Queen Elizabeth II can be seen in Annie Wilkes home. This is a real photograph taken at the royal film premiere of Funny Lady in 1975, with James Stewart also present. James Caan is a well-known actor, recognized for his diverse roles in film and television. His creative process is largely intuitive, with an emphasis on understanding and connecting with his characters on a deep level. Khan believes in thoroughly researching his roles, but also values the importance of spontaneity and staying true to his initial reactions during filming. One of the unique aspects of Khan's approach is his ability to balance intensity and vulnerability in his performances. He is known for his tough guy roles, but often brings a sense of humanity and relatability to these characters. This ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety is a hallmark of Khan's style. Khan's personal experiences and, and worldview have greatly influenced his work. Growing up in a working class family in the Bronx has given him a grounded perspective, which is often reflected in his portrayal of blue collar characters. His characters are often flawed and struggle with their own demons, reflecting Khan's belief in the importance of portraying the human condition in all its complexity. In addition to his acting, Khan is also known for his dedication to his craft. He has a strong work ethic and is known for his preparation and professionalism on set. This dedication combined with his unique approach and style has made James Khan a respected and enduring figure in the world of acting. James Khan, known for his role in the film Funny Lady as Billy Rose, had a bit of a reputation as a troublemaker on set. A fervent rodeo fan with the nickname The Jewish Cowboy, Khan couldn't resist the opportunity to participate in a roping competition in Palm Springs during filming. He returned with a broken thumb, which had to be accommodated in creative ways during filming by director Herbert Ross. Despite Khan's casting as Billy Rose, many reviews noted that he was an unlikely fit for the role, as the real-life Rose was short, moon-faced, and overweight. Other actors considered for the part included Dustin Hoffman, Robert Blake, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, and Richard Dreyfuss. Interestingly, Khan turned down the role of Pop I Doyle in The French Connection, a part that eventually went to Gene Hackman and earned him an Oscar. Khan's decision to pass on the role proved to be a significant one as it opened the door for Hackman's acclaimed performance. James Khan is a highly respected actor, known for his diverse range of roles and his ability to bring depth and authenticity to every character he plays. His contributions to the film industry are significant, with a career spanning over five decades and numerous iconic performances. One of Khan's most notable roles was in the classic film The Godfather, where he played the hot-headed Sonny Corleone. His performance in this film is still regarded as one of the best in cinematic history and helped to solidify his place as a leading man in Hollywood. Khan's impact on the industry can be seen in the trends and techniques of modern acting. 
His ability to fully embody his characters and make them feel real and relatable has influenced countless actors who have come after him. As industry expert and film critic, Peter Travers states James Caan's commitment to his craft and his ability to bring complexity and nuance to every role has left an indelible mark on the film industry. In addition to his acting prowess, Khan has also been a trailblazer in terms of storytelling. His willingness to take on diverse and challenging roles has helped to break down barriers and pave the way for more complex and nuanced character portrayals in film. Actress and Khan's friend Susan Sarandon speaks to his influence on the industry, saying James Khan has always been a fearless actor, never shying away from taking on roles that challenge him and push the boundaries of what is expected. His contributions to the industry have helped to shape the way we tell stories and the types of characters we see on screen. In conclusion, James Caan's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. His contributions to the field of acting and storytelling have left a lasting legacy and continue to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. James Caan is known for his role as a Sergei Dohan in the 1977 film A Bridge Too Far, where he has no scenes with the other 14 actors who received star billing. He chose this role specifically for the scene in which he forces a surgeon to operate on a wounded soldier at gunpoint. From 1982 to 1987, Khan took a break from acting due to personal struggles, including the loss of his sister to leukemia, a growing issue with cocaine, and what he described as Hollywood burnout. During this time, he did not appear in any films. Khan's performance in A Bridge Too Far is noteworthy for its intensity and commitment to the character, despite the lack of scenes with his co-stars. His decision to take a break from acting a few years later highlights the personal challenges that can affect even the most successful actors. James Caan, the well-known actor, has a rich personal life that complements his professional career. He is a family man who values his time with his loved ones. Caan has been married four times and is a father of five children. Spending quality time with his family is important to him, and he enjoys simple activities like playing sports and cooking together. In addition to his love for his family, Khan is passionate about giving back to his community. He is involved in various philanthropic efforts with a particular interest in helping children in need. Khan has worked with organizations such as the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. He also established the Khan Foundation, which supports various charitable causes. Khan's personal values and interests have influenced his work as an actor. He is known for his tough guy roles, but off screen, he is a warm and caring individual. Khan's ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance can be attributed to his understanding of the human experience informed by his personal life and values. In summary, James Khan is not only a talented actor, but also a devoted family man and philanthropist. His personal values and interests have shaped his career and his contributions to society. James Khan is an actor known for his diverse roles in various films. In the Howard Hawks film El Dorado, Khan played the role of Mississippi, a part that came two years after his appearance in another Hawks film, Red Line 7000. Khan and Charlene Holt were both in Red Line 7000 in El Dorado. In the 1996 film Eraser, Khan acted alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, playing the character de Garin. Khan and Schwarzenegger reportedly had a good time working together, often poking fun at the macho stereotypes in their roles. One of Khan's most famous roles is as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. Initially, Robert Evans wanted Khan to play Michael, but Francis Ford Coppola had other plans. Khan was eventually cast as Sonny, while Carmine Caridi played Michael. There is a rumor that Burt Reynolds was originally cast as Sonny, but Marlon Brando refused to act with him. Khan, who stood at 6'4", was cast to avoid having Caridi tower over Pacino on screen. Caridi was later given a small part in The Godfather Parchment II. James Kahn is a well-respected actor, known for his versatile performances in films like The Godfather and Misery. His legacy in the industry is marked by his ability to bring complexity and nuance to his roles, making a lasting impression on audiences. As for the future, Kahn has always been open to new opportunities and challenges. He has expressed interest in continuing to act, as well as exploring work behind the camera as a director. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Khan offers some valuable advice always be prepared and willing to take risks. Don't be afraid to try new things and push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
He also emphasizes the importance of perseverance, stating you're going to face rejection and setbacks, but it's how you handle them that will determine your success. Khan believes that hard work and dedication are key to making it in the industry and encourages aspiring professionals to stay true to themselves and their artistic vision. Don't try to be someone you're not. Find what makes you unique and embrace it. That's what will make you stand out and succeed in the long run. James Kahn delivered a memorable performance as Axel Fried in The Gambler, but he had a strained relationship with director Carol Rise and vowed not to work with him again. In the film The Killer Elite, Kahn starred as Mike Locken alongside two Oscar winners, Robert Duvall and Gig Young, as well as three Oscar nominees James Kahn, Mako, and Burt Young. Kahn was also considered for the lead role in the classic film Rocky, which further showcases his versatility and range as an actor. James Kahn, a legendary actor, is known for his powerful performances and infectious energy. He discovered his passion for acting in his early years and pursued it with determination and perseverance. Kahn's career spans over five decades, and he has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Throughout his journey, Kahn demonstrated his versatility as an actor, taking on various roles with equal dedication and commitment. From playing the hot-headed Sonny Corleone in The Godfather to the quirky and unpredictable Paul Sheldon in Misery, Khan consistently delivered memorable and impactful performances. Khan's contributions to the entertainment industry extend beyond his acting abilities. He has also produced and directed films showcasing his innovative spirit and creative vision. His work has inspired countless aspiring actors and filmmakers and his impact on the industry is still felt today. In conclusion, James Kahn's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. His legacy serves as a reminder that with dedication, passion, and a little bit of humor, anyone can make their mark on the world. Kahn's work continues to resonate with audiences, and his impact will endure for generations to come. James Kahn is known for his memorable roles in various films, but one interesting fact is that he shares the same birthday as his co-star Alan Arkin, March 26. In the 1964 film Lady in a Cage, Kahn played the role of Randall Simpson O'Connell, which was his first credited feature film role after starting with sporadic television parts. Prior to this, he had made a brief appearance in Irma Le Deuce in 1963. Interestingly, Kahn was also considered for Charlton Heston's role in the disaster film Earthquake in 1974. However, the role ultimately went to Heston. Despite not getting the part, Kahn continued to make his mark in the film industry with his exceptional acting skills. James Kahn, known for his role as Sonny Corleone in the Godfather films, is only 10 years younger than Morgana Kane, who played his on-screen mother. In real life, Kahn resides in Beverly Hills, California. Interestingly, he was also considered to voice the character Scar in The Lion King. Despite being in his 70s, Khan's career continues to thrive, and he remains a prominent figure in the film industry. His impact on cinema is undeniable, and his legacy is cherished by many. In the film Funny Lady, James Khan and Barbara Streisand shared a memorable dressing room scene where they playfully tossed powder at each other. However, Streisand got more than she bargained for when Khan, in cahoots with director Herbert Ross, dumped a pile of powder on her, resulting in a humorous and dramatic moment that Streisand counts as one of her favorites. Despite his comedic talent, Khan turned down the role of Ted Kramer in Kramer vs. Kramer, which later earned Dustin Hoffman an Oscar. Khan's decision showcases his range as an actor and his willingness to take on diverse roles. In El Dorado, Khan portrayed Mississippi, a character who recites verses from Edgar Allan Poe's poem of the same name. Mississippi leaves out the second verse, which laments the knight's failure to find El Dorado, and instead recites the first verse and part of the fourth after meeting John Wayne for the first time. He recites the third verse before the final gunfight, and the complete fourth when he takes up the second wagon's reins. Khan's portrayal of Mississippi adds depth to the character and highlights his ability to bring poetry to life on screen. James Khan is known for his role as Sailor in the 1941 film, where he was seen in the USO fight scene. Initially, Barbara Streisand had considered Robert Blake for the role of Billy Rose in Funny Lady, but after a read-through, she was impressed and offered the part to Khan when Blake left, miffed at having to audition. Khan also appeared in Misery, directed by Rob Reiner, whose father, Carl Reiner, acted alongside Khan's son, Scott, in Ocean's 11 and Ocean's 12. 
This family connection highlights the enduring legacy of James Kahn's career and his impact on the film industry. Throughout his career, Kahn has demonstrated his versatility and talent, taking on various roles in different genres. His contributions to the world of cinema have left a lasting impression and his performances continue to be cherished by audiences of all ages. James Kahn is known for his fearlessness in taking on challenging roles, but there was one instance where he faced a real-life test of his courage. While filming Freebie and The Bean Con, along with co-star Alan Arkin, director Richard Rush, and cinematographer Lazlo Kovacs, became trapped on a construction elevator at the top of a skyscraper. Khan, who has a fear of heights, had to gather his courage and jump out of the elevator onto the floor below, then descend the building's 65 floors via the stairs. In Harry and Walter Go to New York, Khan starred alongside Elliot Good and producer Don Devlin explained that big-name actors like them were almost a requirement for a big-budget film. Khan's portrayal of Harry Digby was just one of many memorable roles in his career. When it came to casting The Godfather, producer Robert Evans was not initially impressed with Francis Ford Coppola's unofficial screen tests, which included James Khan as Sonny Corleone. However, the studio ended up spending $420,000 on official screen tests, and in the end, Khan was hired for the role that would catapult him to fame. Despite the challenges and obstacles faced during production, Khan's performance left a lasting impact on audiences and solidified his place in cinema history. James Khan, known for his role in Freebie, and The Bean had a strained relationship with director Richard Rush. Khan and co-star Alan Arkin threatened to quit due to Rush's alleged misplaced focus on stunts over character development. In his personal life, Khan is an avid golfer, finding relaxation and enjoyment in the sport. He is also a proud father of five children and a grandfather of four grandchildren, with three from his eldest daughter Tara and one from his son Scott. Khan values his family and the time they spend together. James Khan, a well-known actor, has shared that he took on certain movie roles, such as in Harry and Walter Go to New York and The Killer Elite, despite not wanting to, due to their perceived commercial potential. In the 1990s, Khan managed to overcome a long-lasting cocaine addiction. Interestingly, during the filming of The Gambler, where he portrayed Axel Fried, Khan was actually battling this very same addiction. His dedication to his craft is evident in his ability to deliver compelling performances despite personal struggles. James Khan played the role of Spaldoni in the Disney film Dick Tracy, which was the company's first movie based on a comic strip or comic book. Disney later went on to distribute most of the Marvel Cinematic Universe films, including The Avengers, which featured Harry Dean Stanton. Stanton also appeared in The Godfather Part II with Al Pacino and James Kahn. In the 1970s, Kahn resided at the Playboy Mansion for a brief period. In 1993, a 25-year-old man from West Hollywood tragically died after falling from an apartment building where Kahn was staying. Kahn stated in an interview that he slept through the incident James Kahn played the role of Isurgent Dohan in the star-studded film A Bridge Too Far, alongside eight Oscar winners and five Oscar nominees. In addition to his impressive performance in this film, Kahn also showcased his musical talents in Funny Lady, where he made his screen singing debut and played the piano, an instrument he had studied as a child. The following year, Kahn starred in Harry and Walter Go to New York with Michael Caine, who had also appeared in A Bridge Too Far. Khan's versatility and talent were on full display in these films, showcasing his ability to excel in both dramatic and musical roles. James Khan is known for his role as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather, where he received the same salary as his co-stars Al Pacino and Diane Keaton. However, Pacino's salary increased significantly to $600,000 for The Godfather Part Room in two, along with a 10% cut of the movie's adjusted gross income. Khan also starred as Axel Fried in The Gambler, which he considers one of his favorite roles. Growing up in the Sunnyside neighborhood of Queens, New York City, Khan's acting career took him to great heights in the film industry. His work in The Godfather and The Gambler, among others, has solidified his place as a respected and accomplished actor. James Khan is known for his memorable roles in various films. In The Godfather, he played Sonny Corleone, despite not being Italian himself. The director, Francis Ford Coppola, aimed to portray Italians authentically, but cast actors of different ancestries, including Kahn, who is German and Jewish. Kahn suggested the unique pronunciation of the word elected in Thief, which reflects the character's self-education during prison time. 
In the Killer Elite, Khan and Robert Duvall underwent specific training to master their character skills, such as using a rifle with an infrared scope and disarming villains with a cane. Khan's dedication to his role showcases his versatility and commitment to his craft. James Kahn is known for his naturalistic acting style, which sometimes put him at odds with his more stage-trained co-stars. In the movie Misery, Kathy Bates, who preferred extensive rehearsals, worked alongside Kahn, who took a more instinctive approach. They had to find a middle ground to accommodate both styles during rehearsals. Before his iconic role in The Godfather, Kahn was considered for the part of Belloc in Pretty Baby. However, he didn't get the role. His football background came in handy when he played Jimmy Kilgannon in The Rain People and Brian Piccolo in Brian's Song. These roles, released in quick succession, showcased his ability to portray athletes convincingly. Brian's Song would become one of the most significant films of his career, released just a year before The Godfather. James Khan is known for his immersive approach to acting, as demonstrated by his role as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. To prepare, he spent time with underworld figures to understand their lifestyle. Prior to his acting career, Khan studied drama at Hofstra University before dropping out. In the film Thief, Khan played the lead role of Frank and had a notable exchange with the director, Michael Mann, about the opening credits. Khan remarked that his name appeared more frequently, to which Mann replied that he had worked harder. This anecdote highlights Khan's dedication to his craft and his willingness to engage with the creative process. James Khan is known for his diverse roles in film. Notably, he played Jonathan E. in Rollerball, a role offered to him after his portrayal of real-life Chicago Bears running back Brian Piccolo in Brian's song. Khan's ability to convincingly play a rugged athlete translated well to his role as Jonathan E. In addition to this, Khan took on the character of Mr. Henry in Bottle Rocket, a thief whom Dignan claims to be notorious. Interestingly, Khan had previously played the lead role in Thief, making his portrayal of a criminal in Bottle Rocket all the more fitting. Growing up in New York City, James Kahn attended Rhodes High School, which no longer exists as of 2017. Despite his school's closure, Kahn's impact on the film industry remained significant. James Kahn was considered for the role of Colonel Lucas in Apocalypse Now, but his demand for too much money led to Harrison Ford getting the part. Khan started his career in smaller films, but gained international fame with his role as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. He continued to flourish with hits like Cinderella Liberty and Freebie and The Beam. One of his most memorable roles was in the 1990 adaptation of Stephen King's Misery. In Red Line 7000, directed by Howard Hawks, Khan was one of the few unknown actors given a leading role. Hawks hoped to create new stars, but only Khan achieved stardom and worked with him again. Khan's career in the 1960s included films like The Rain People and Lady in a Cage, but it was his role in The Godfather that catapulted him to fame. Throughout his career, Khan has delivered consistently strong performances, making him a respected figure in the film industry. From The Godfather to Misery, Khan has proven himself to be a versatile actor capable of delivering powerful and memorable performances. James Kahn, known for his tough guy roles, played Mike Locken in The Killer Elite in 1977. Despite his involvement, Kahn rated the film low, having taken the role on the advice of his advisors and director Sam Peckinpah. In the 1981 film Thief, Kahn's portrayal of Frank is noteworthy. In the hospital scene, Kahn's cold stare at J.J. Saunders, playing the doctor, was unplanned. Saunders' genuine reaction of fear is visible, adding authenticity to the scene. Additionally, Khan was considered for the role of Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, a character that became iconic when Robert De Niro took on the part. Despite not getting the role, Khan's career remained significant, marked by his distinct performances and commitment to his craft. James Khan was initially set to play the man with the plan and things to do in Denver when you're dead, but for unknown reasons, the role went to Andy Garcia. In the war film A Bridge Too Far, Khan's portrayal of S. Sergeant Doan is noteworthy. The scene where he forces the doctor to treat his injured captain is based on a true story. The captain's wife confirmed the account in a letter to author Cornelius Ryan. However, Dohan was actually under arrest for a full minute before being released, a detail that adds depth to the character. In Misery, Khan played Paul Sheldon, a role that required him to showcase his acting skills. Interestingly, he had previously worked with Richard Farnsworth in Comes a Horseman. 
Their on-screen chemistry was palpable, making their scenes together memorable. These roles further solidified Khan's reputation as a reliable and talented actor. James Khan is known for his memorable performances in various films. In The Gambler, he played Axel Fried, and the following year, he acted alongside Burt Young in The Killer Elite directed by Sam Peckinpah. Khan holds the diner scene with Tuesday Weld in high regard, considering it his favorite scene in his career. This scene took 20 years for Khan to mention to Michael Mann, who directed it. Mann expressed his gratitude for directing such a remarkable performance, to which Khan humbly replied that he wished he could do it more often. In 1995, James Kahn turned down the role of the deacon in the film Waterworld. His decision to decline the part showcases his ability to make choices that align with his artistic vision and career goals. James Kahn was initially considered for the role of Lone Star in Spaceballs, but due to his struggle with addiction and high insurance costs, the part went to Bill Pullman. Kahn's improvisation of mispronouncing elected as elected Ed in Thief demonstrated his character's attempt to appear sophisticated. In the same film, real tools and machinery were used, including a 62-pound magnetic drill in the opening scene. Khan became so knowledgeable in thievery techniques that a technical advisor jokingly claimed he didn't know why he was needed on set. James Khan's role in The Rain People as Jimmy Kilgannon was challenging, with a five-month shooting schedule taking a toll on him. Following the production, Khan experienced a nervous breakdown and sought psychotherapy. And Thief Khan as Frank performed a brass check on his handgun, a technique taught in professional shooting schools and police academies. This technique was also used by other Michael Mann characters. Notably, Khan and Alan Arkin both passed away within a year of each other, with Khan leaving us on July 6, 2022. James Khan took on the role of a surging Dohan in a bridge too far after Robert De Niro declined the part. Khan also had the opportunity to be considered for Harrison Ford's roles in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope and Blade Runner. In Thief, Khan's portrayal of Frank required extensive preparation. He spent time with real thieves from Chicago and became familiar with the tools and weapons used in the film. Khan underwent a training program designed for Navy SEALs and CIA agents to ensure he could handle his gun with ease and make the movements look natural. His dedication to his craft paid off, creating a memorable and authentic performance. James Khan, known for his role as Mike Locken in The Killer Elite, has a history of working with Robert Duvall in various productions, including The Godfather and The Godfather Part Roman II. Two notable scenes from The Godfather have been parodied on The Simpsons, including the scene where Sonny beats up Carlo and Sonny's death scene. Khan was also considered for Richard Dreyfuss roles in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Goodbye Girl, and What About Bob? Khan's performance in The Godfather has left a lasting impact, with two of his scenes being parodied on The Simpsons. The scene where Sonny beats up Carlo in the street was turned into a scene where Marge does the same to a man who mugged her. Sonny's death scene has been parodied twice, with the first time involving Bart being ambushed with snowballs at school, and the second actually involving Khan himself making a guest appearance and being ambushed at a toll booth. In addition to his work in The Godfather, Khan was also considered for Richard Dreyfuss roles in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Goodbye Girl, and What About Bob? This demonstrates Khan's versatility and range as an actor as he was able to convincingly portray a variety of characters. Overall, James Kahn's contributions to the world of film and television have been significant and enduring. His performances in various productions, including The Godfather and The Killer Elite, have left a lasting impact and have been recognized and appreciated by audiences and critics alike. James Kahn, known for his diverse roles, played football for Michigan State University before becoming an actor. In the film Harry and Walter Go to New York, he starred as Harry Digby alongside Michael Caine and Elliot Good. The following year, all three appeared together in A Bridge Too Far. In Countdown, Khan played Lee Stegler. His co-star, Robert Duvall, had worked with director Robert Altman in the breakout film MASH. Two years later, Duvall joined Khan in Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather, a movie that Coppola wrote for Patton, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture over MASH. In the 1967 film El Dorado, James Kahn played the role of Mississippi, a character who wore three-inch lifts in the movie. Interestingly, years later, when Kahn was starring on Las Vegas in 23, there was an episode where his character went to Morocco. When he went through customs, the camera showed his passport, 
and the name on it was a Trier. In Misery, another film where Khan starred, he had to crawl out of bed for a scene. Director of photography Barry Sonnenfeld made it easier for Khan to find his mark by spitting on the hardwood floor. Khan jokingly claimed that it was the only movie on which he ever worked where someone was hawking his marks. James Kahn, known for his role as Paul Sheldon in Misery, had a notable disagreement with co-star Kathy Bates regarding their acting methods. Kahn preferred minimal rehearsal, while Bates, with her theater background, was accustomed to extensive practice. Their clash led to tension on set, which director Rob Reiner advised Bates to channel into her character. In The Godfather, Kahn tested for multiple roles, including Michael, Sonny, and Hagen, but was only deemed suitable for Sonny by director Francis Ford Coppola. Despite extensive coaching, no one else saw Khan's potential in the other parts until Coppola gave him the opportunity. Additionally, Khan was considered for the role of Ted Henderson in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Although he did not ultimately secure the part, his testing for it demonstrates his range and the opportunities he pursued throughout his career. James Khan is a martial artist with a 6 Dan rank in Gasuku Ryu Karate, having trained for nearly 30 years with Takuki Kibota. He was bestowed the title of Sokdai by the International Karate Association. Khan's film career includes his notable role as Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. Initially, he auditioned for the parts of Tom Hagen and Michael Corleone before landing the role of Sonny. In Freebie and The Bean, Khan played Freebie. There were plans for a sequel where Khan and Alan Arkin would reprise their roles with Arkin directing. Sources James Khan. IMDb, IMDb Khan. James Khan. Karate Institute of America, Carrot Institute of America, Com. Freebie and the Bean. IMDb, IMDb Com. James Kahn's role in the film Thief as Frank found him challenged since the character was emotionally unavailable, which contrasted with Kahn's preference for emotionally accessible roles. In Freebie and the Bean, Kahn acted alongside Alex Rocco, who also appeared in The Godfather and Slither, although they did not share scenes in The Godfather. Khan's film debut was in Irma Laidaus, where he played a soldier with a radio. Despite these varied roles, Khan's career is characterized by simplicity and directness rather than ornate language or abstraction. Let's take a moment to appreciate the extraordinary career of the talented James Khan. Known for his powerful performances, Khan has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His work in films like The Godfather and Misery showcases his incredible range and dedication. Now we'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite James Conn performances? How has his work influenced you? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the artists who have shaped entertainment. Together, let's honor the legacy of James Conn and the many other talented actors who have enriched our lives with their art.